Okay. I understand, okay? But I need you to try not to throw up. I got one refusing to get out of the squad car. It's the biggest shopping day of the year in Champaign, Illinois. The police are about to meet one woman suspected of driving drunk with a child in the car. Hello. Hello. Officer Snow with the University Police Department. The reason to stop you today is you're not maintaining your lane properly. You're kind of in and out of your lane uh, while I was behind you there. And a couple other people have also called on you saying that uh, you were exhibiting some poor driving behavior. Did you, do you know anything about that or? No. Okay. Uh, where are you coming from tonight? Or today? Sorry. You drop, just dropped off your kids? Okay. You got one in the back seat there still? Alright. How old is he? Eight. Okay. Uh, do you have a driver's license and uh, insurance? An arrest record shows three callers reported the woman driving all over the road before police stopped her. Let's continue. Okay. Alright. Do me a favor. Uh, step out of the car for me. I want to talk to you back, back here, bus. Okay, let me have you step right back here for me. All right, uh, have you had any alcohol at all today? Like earlier, yeah. How earlier? I don't know. Ten, Ten o'clock? Okay, what time do you think it is now? Uh, around, like, noon. Around noon? Okay. Um, how much alcohol did you have at around 10? I don't know. One drink, two drinks, three drinks? Um, I don't know. Okay. Uh, what kind of alcohol did you have? Cider. Cider? Okay. Um, do you know what kind of alcohol that was spiked with? Like apple cider and um, champagne, maybe? Oh, okay. All right. Police identify the woman seen here as 38-year-old Lindsey Green, who admits to having at least one drink. The officer then asks her to take some field sobriety tests. Let's see how she does. What I want you to do is uh, just imagine a straight line directly in front of you, okay? I want you to put your left foot on that line just like this. <laughs> And I want you to put your right foot in front of it with your heel touching your toe, just like that. Put your hands at your sides. Oh, make sure your heel's touching your toe. There you go. Stay just... Can you do it? Yep. Okay. Left foot on the line, right foot in front of it with your heel touching your toe. Okay? Stay just like that until I tell you to begin. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Okay. Get back in the stance. Make sure your heel's touching your toe. There you go. Okay. Whoop. Do you think you can uh, do that? Do you have any injuries to your legs, feet, or hips? Um, my knees. Oh, what's wrong with your knees? Um, I just have like a soccer injury. Okay, how long ago was that injury? Like 20 years. 20 years? Are you mm -hmm. still seeing a doctor for that injury? No. You take any kind of medications for that injury? Nope. Uh, do you think you can do the walking test? or? Yep. You sure? Yep. Okay. Go ahead and put your left foot on the line, right foot in front of it with your heel touching your toe. Oh. Which knee is it? Both. It's both knees? Yeah. Okay. All right, hands at your side. Okay. Need you to... Oh. There you go. Just like that, okay? When I, nope, oh, go back. There you go. Left foot on the line, right foot in front of it with your heel touching your toe. Just like that, okay? Stay like that until I tell you to begin. You understand? One, yes. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Okay, you can go ahead and begin. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. Okay, you can stop. Um, how much do you think you've had to drink tonight, or today? Like two drinks. Two drinks? Mm -hmm. Okay. I do think you've had a little bit too much. Okay, so turn around for me. And just put your hands on your back. And you're going to be under arrest for DUI, okay? Okay. That's what I have to do with my son. Uh, your car? No, my son. Oh, your son. Yeah. We're going to have somebody um, come pick up your son, I think. After a few, let's just say, unsteady tests, the officer decides he's seen enough and places our suspect under arrest. Okay. I'm going to step right down here after this traffic clears here a little bit. We're going to go across the street. I don't have a wallet. There's a purse in my car. One officer gets Lindsay on her way to the station, while other officers try to figure out what to do with the child. It's here the 38-year-old shares some information with police. I don't care what happens to me. Tell me if you want. He's going to hurt them. He's going to hurt them. I'm 45 and 23, ending one day. Lindsay requests the child not be picked up by the father, stating she believes he would hurt the child. Keep this in mind for later. Oh, that's all right. Can you uh, just grab her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let me bring her to step out here. I will. Don't let him take it, please. He's going to hurt <laughs> Be real careful. She's uh, a little unstable. Gotcha. On her feet. Watch your step here. Step on in there. You can just have a seat. Let's see here for a second. taken out of handcuffs and sat down for an observation period where she proves to be a woman of few words. Your what? The wastebasket, please. Why do you need the wastebasket? Right now? Yeah. Do you think you can hold it at all? If you can get me in the bathroom. Well, I need you to just try not to throw up, okay? Because, I mean, it, I understand, okay? But I need you to try not to throw up. Because I can't have anything go in your mouth or out of your mouth. 
Okay. Where do you work at? Okay, that's fine. That's just for the report. Okay. Um, do you have a telephone number? No. Nope. You don't have a telephone number? No. Nope. Um, do you have a cell phone? Do you know what your telephone number is? I do. Okay. I need that information for the report, the report only. Um, no. It's not something that, uh, you know. I'm not going to do anything with the telephone number. I'm just going to put it to the report. Okay. Well, I don't know what the report is for. The report is for being arrested for DUI. Yeah, I know. Okay. okay. So that's all the report's for. So it's it's not uh, anything different. This is something I have to ask everybody that I arrest. Okay. Where is this from? Uh, you know what? I'll try to find out for you. Okay. I don't know. I wasn't on scene anymore. But I'll try to find out. You said that your son would be hurt if yep. he went to his dad. Uh, do you want to say anything else about that, or what just do you know? uh, just if it's you think he's going to be hurt, I'd like to know some details about that. It's you know, is it's a he's a monster. Yep. Okay. Next, police try to ask our tight-lipped suspect to take a breathalyzer test. Okay, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to stand up for me. Okay? No. Tell me what you're going to do. I'm going to have you stand up for me, okay? Uh -huh. And what's that? I'm going to have you wrap your lips around this and create a seal, okay? And blow long and hard until I tell you to stop. No. Okay? No what? I'm not going to do that. Okay. Is there a reason why you're not going to do that? Because there's... <sighs> So, in the state of Illinois, you're, you're, it's given that you submit to this test. So, if you could, just go ahead and stand on up for me. I'm going to have you wrap your lips around this and create a seal, and then go ahead and give, give me a long, steady breath, okay? No, thank you. Okay, so you're going to refuse this test? Yes. Okay. Uh, could I take you to the hospital and get your blood and urine from you? No. Okay, is there a reason you say no to that? Lindsay refuses the test, triggering the officer to try an interesting approach to ask again about the breathalyzer test. Uh, there's a spot on here for you to sign that says, okay. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to sign that you have signed. Your son, I believe, went with his father. Do you, now knowing that, do you wish to submit to the testing? No. Okay. Do you wish to sign this form? No. You heard that right. The officer asks if she keep her answer, knowing police allegedly released the child to the father she warned them against. Lindsay sticks to her refusal, but this officer is not done talking just yet. I'm just, I'm just wondering, just, is there a reason you're not being helpful today with me? I don't like cops. Okay. Have I done anything bad or wrong to you? Have I treated you with disrespect or anything like that? I don't like cops. Okay. Have you ever met me before? Have you had a bad experience with other officers in the past? What well, does that matter? I'm just having a conversation with you yeah, at this point. Yeah. I don't like cops. Okay, is there a reason why? I, I don't like cops. Okay. Okay. Um, do you know what city you're in right now? Yes. What city are we in? I don't. Okay. Are you willing to tell me? Nope. Are you willing to answer any of the questions that I'm going to ask you? Probably not. With that conversation going nowhere, police decide it's time to transport Lindsay to the jail, where she's not exactly lightening up. you have any medical issues we need to be concerned about? No. Yeah. feel like harming yourself or others? Yes, no, maybe. Huh? 
I don't have an answer. You don't have an answer. Okay. Fifteen. I got one refusing to get out of the squad car. What's your last name? All right, it's green. Well, that's what it says on your license. Ma'am, either way, you're going to have to come inside. You understand that, correct? Okay. Okay. So, if you could just take a step out of the squad car and come inside, answer our medical questions on our medical questionnaire. Nope. We'll be able to get you in the computer and then we'll have court in the morning. Nope. Why not? Nope. Right, but why is that? I'm just confused on why you don't want to. Lindsey Green faces an aggravated DUI charge among several others and heads back to court this summer.